Jay-Z is putting his resources behind the fight against racial injustice. And he did so in a big way for an attorney for the family of Ahmaud Arbery, the young black man who was chased and fatally shot while out jogging in Georgia in February. Civil rights lawyer S. Lee Merritt revealed on social media this week that Jay helped him out with a high-speed mode of transportation when he needed to travel to the preliminary hearing in the case of Arbery's killing. Lee shared a photo of his ride and wrote, when you absolutely have to be in court to stand with your client and righteous protesters for justice, Jay-Z sends his private jet. That's part of the PPE plan to get us out of this crisis. People power, political power, economic power. Lee went on to live tweet the hearing. The prosecution presented their case against defendants Gregory and Travis McMichael and William Roddy Bryan, who were all arrested last month in the fatal shooting of Arbery. The McMichaels were charged with felony murder and aggravated assault, and Brian was charged weeks later with felony murder and attempted false imprisonment, per NBC News. Lending Lee a plane is just the latest in a long line of moves Jay has made in recent weeks in the fight for black lives. The rapper was active in the campaign to seek justice for Arbery from the beginning, Last month, he, Lee, Alicia Keys, Meek Mill, Yo Gotti, and civil rights attorney Benjamin L. Crump signed an open letter to Georgia's elected officials urging for a fair trial. Jay has also been very involved in the fight for justice in the death of George Floyd. Minnesota Governor Tim Walz revealed in a press conference earlier this week that the Rock Nation founder called him personally to address the tragedy and urge that action be taken. It was so incredibly human. It wasn't Jay-Z, international, you know, celebrity and well-known. It was a dad and, and I think quite honestly a black man whose visceral pain of this that he knew. Um, his words to me, and I want to be the confidential, but to, to, to summarize what it was is, is justice needs to be served here. Floyd died in police custody last month. Arrest video showed Minneapolis police officer Derek Chauvin kneeling on Floyd's neck as he pleaded for his life saying multiple times, I can't breathe. Chauvin was first charged with second-degree manslaughter and third-degree murder, which was recently elevated to second-degree murder, per NBC News. He is due in court later this month. Meanwhile, three fellow former police officers at the scene have been charged with aiding and abetting second-degree murder unintentional while committing a felony, and aiding and abetting second-degree manslaughter with culpable negligence. In an Instagram post after his conversation with Governor Walls, Jay called upon Minnesota's attorney general to quote, do the right thing and prosecute all those responsible for the murder of George Floyd to the fullest extent of the law. He added in part, I am more determined to fight for justice than any fight my would-be oppressors may have. I prevail on every politician, prosecutor, and officer in the country to have the courage to do what is right. Have the courage to look at us as humans, dads, brothers, sisters, and mothers in pain, and look at yourselves.